Uh, Serena Williams, she is she's she's on her retirement tour right now. This is most likely going to be her last uh, U.S. Open appearance. Uh, she's already up right now in her first match. Uh, by she's up to won the first set. She's up in the second set right now. She'll probably take this one home. Um, but again, you know, Serena Williams. If this is the last hurrah for Serena Williams, I believe she retires as the goat. Um, it's 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 hard for me to even hear any argument of anything else. Um, you know, just going back to just what Serena and Venus had to deal with to get to where they are in the sport of tennis, which for a long time, I mean, still, I mean, still is, you know, white dominated sport because most, you know, but white, you know, white athletes kind of dominate the sport. But Serena Williams you know, managed to come from where she's from and, and Cali from the come from the hood to be the greatest tennis player of all time. Again, if this was if this is her last to raw at a at an uh a tournament that she dominates, she had an amazing career and it, it, it's it, it can't be rivaled, I don't think, by anybody in women's and, and really not too many people in the men's side can rival Serena's career and what she was able to accomplish. Oh, absolutely. What she done for the sport is amazing. One of my favorite athletes of all time. You know, she will be missed. You know, when you have guys and girls like, you know, Serena that come into the sport and just make it more, even more global. You know, you see the fans in the stands. I'm actually watching the game. I have the game on um, right now, the tennis match. And you see all the fans in the stands and everybody that comes out to support Serena. She's done a lot for the game of tennis, made it more popular. And when you talk about where she came from, I always love those stories, them stories about people never being handed anything, had to work and put the extra hours in, you know, while everybody was at home chilling and, you know, doing what they do. She was out there trying to get better, perfect the craft and obviously be dominant, which she was in her craft. You know, I, I don't think there's a more dominant athlete. You know, maybe I'm just heated a moment right now. You know, my brain is not you know, it's getting late. My brain is not, you know, really functioning at its highest peak, but I don't really see another dominant athlete, you know, obviously Brady, LeBron, but Serena, as far as just the dominance in her sport, the dominance of with her opposition and competition, it's nothing like it. And I don't think we will see that ever again. So if this is the last ride for Serena Williams, you know, you did it. Yeah. And we're yeah. thankful for you. You're absolutely right. And, um, <clears throat> Shout out to, to everybody that's over at the Arthur Ashe Stadium uh, right now. You mentioned the numbers over there and the people that came out. This is the first year since COVID that the U.S. Open is, you know, fully open as it was, you know, pre-COVID. Yeah. So, you know, it, it, should, it, should, it should be a goodie for all you guys that, that get to see Serena play in what may be her last tournament. Enjoy because you're witnessing something special uh, right now.